Hi friends, we are starting a face to face offline batch in Bangalore with SS Academy. That is for CA final financial reporting paper number one. I yeah, will be taking exactly two months from 1st November to 31st December. We will complete it. It is starting from 1st November 2022. Yes, and in Jayanagara branch of SS Academy, we have morning batch and evening batch will be at Seshadripuram SS Academy. Right. And if the student is missing because of any reasons, right, they are going to get a backup class. All right, we'll ensure that their things, I mean, they will study and complete. And from the face to face batch, you know the benefits out of it. We'll be completing the syllabus in time. You don't need to postpone and you don't need to compromise for your goals. See you in the class. Please share this information with your friends. That will help me and as well. Thank you. Next, for my books, that is an Indies Made Easy, our financial reporting Made Easy and Fast Track Summary book. Yes, you can uh, order in ravikanthmiriala.com or you can contact the given number for the books. Right. For, your, for your doubts, clarification, please join the Telegram group, Indies Discussion Group, RKM. These charts are from my quick revision fast track chart book on financial reporting which is available in the market let's look at india's 20 accounting for government grants a government means any government which is central government state government international government or local government grants that can be termed as a subsidy or incentive even duty drawback is also government grant yeah this standard does not deal with where the government has ownership and it does not deal with the agriculture government grant accounting because it is dealt by India as 41 and a government assistance which is in calculating the taxable profit. Yes, even that kind of government grant no, not dealt by this standard. What is a government assistance? Government assistance is a government action to provide economic benefits, money or money's worth to the specified specific qualified entity. What is a government grant? Government grant is government assistance by transfer of resources. There must be either cash transfer or kind transfer must be there. If there is no cash transfer or kind transfer, then it is it does not amount to be as a government grant. Yeah, that may be because of the to because to comply with the past or future future compliance of conditions. Right. The examples, if you see car carbon credits, yes, it's a government grant. Suppose I got one, uh, one uh, project which is in the public bidding that government has not given me anything in kind or cash at free of cost or not at discounted prices in bidding I got it there is no government grant government gave, gave me some free loan yes it is a government grant because the interest free loan it is then obviously there is some economic benefit to me there is a government grant when to recognize government grant you should recognize the government grant only when you satisfy two conditions one is there should be reasonable assurance that the conditions will be satisfied and there is no uncertainty with respect to ultimate receipt of the money or money's worth right when you satisfy i mean reasonable assurance in a sense management should be confident enough that they will be able to satisfy the conditions right suppose you received the money but if the management is not confident then you should not recognize that money because i mean it should be recognized because the company has to repay that money it should be recognized as a repayable or payable to government there is no concept of capital approach everything is revenue approach revenue approach in the sense any money i mean any government grant has to be rooted through profit and loss it may happen in all of us i mean in one year it may happen or it may happen in more than one year depending upon the circumstance right and when you are transferring it to profit and loss it should be in systematic and rational approach systematic and rational with respect to profit and loss it is only matching concept that means you are you should transfer the government grant money i mean income should be created to profit and loss in the ratio of the expenditure in the ratio of the expenditure right but there are i mean there are two exceptions to this matching concept one is government grant received in the current year for the previous year losses or previous year expenditure then 
I mean, there is no much matching concept. It cannot be ensured. That's why it should be recognized in the current year immediately whenever you get that money. And second thing, second thing is government grant received in the current year for immediate financial support for the only our entity. Our entity is in financial troubles. That's why government has helped us. And this is received by only by our entity, no one else in the no one else in the industry yes under this circumstance also record it immediately obviously these these things are little uh, different that's why our basic responsibility to disclose the information in this regard like right. you received non-monetary government grant yes that is you received either land machinery something in kind or some technology you received right how can you recognize it there are two ways that this is an accounting policy choice one I mean you can recognize at a nominal value which is rupee 1 or 10 or 100 something like that or you can recognize it at fair market value yes so under that circumstance asset account debit to deferred government grant yes this deferred government grant generally I mean the deferred government grant you transfer it to profit and loss over the life of the asset that makes more sense suppose if you say you received land for land life is unlimited Correct. But when you have got the land, government must have kept a condition at least to construct a building. Then at least over the period of life of the building, let's say 30, 40 years, you should be transferring it to P and L. But don't transfer it immediately to profit and loss. It does not make any sense. Next, you received a government grant in cash. Then you should ask a question. Is it, is, is it related to depreciable asset or is it related to non-depreciable asset? And the third one is, is it related to any expenditure yeah power expenses something like that right if it is related to depreciable asset there are two i mean uh, you have two accounting policy choices one you can reduce that receipt of cash directly from the cost of the fixed i mean depreciable asset yeah and the remaining amount should be depreciated over the remaining life of the asset and the second thing is you should recognize it as a dgg that is you received a cash cash account debit to dgg and DGG will be transferred to PNL over the life of the asset in the ratio of the depreciation. If you are following SLM method, then equal amount of the DGG will be transferred to PNL. If you are following WDV or some other method, yes, you have to calculate literally and in which ratio your depreciation comes in, in the same ratio, it is supposed to be transferred to profit and loss. Yeah, and if you have received cash which is directly related to a non depreciable asset, yeah, first you should ask a question i mean it, the situation is like this you purchased a land for the purpose of you you bought a land for that government gave you some cash what should i do yeah so is are there any conditions to be fulfilled because of the compliance of conditions are we supposed to spend some money if you say no then directly you can transfer it to profit and loss immediately no, if you say no, no, we have to fulfill some conditions for which we are going to spend some amount of money under that circumstance, then you transfer the amount to receive cash account debit to DGG, DGG account debit to PNL in the ratio of the expenditure you are supposed to transfer. And if it is directly related to any expenditure, if it is directly related to expenses, again there are two accounting policy choices are there, you can directly reduce it from from the profit and I mean expenditure respective expenditure you can reduce it or you can show it as a government grant income yes that also I mean other income government grant income you can present it as present it as an income that is one possible right if it is an interest free government grant then what is the government grant amount actual money amount received minus fair value of the financial liability that difference is going to be treated as government grant say we received cash cash account debit 100 to loan amount let's say 90 rupees a 10 rupees is government grant a 10 rupees what are you supposed to do sir i mean where should i transfer it depends why the loan has been given by the government to you if the loan is given as an immediate financial relief then immediately that amount a 10 rupees will be transferred to profit and loss if the loan has been given to train your employees for four years then transfer it to the profit and loss over the period of four years in the ratio of your trading expenditure that means initially you will be transferring it to dgg from dgg to pnl over the four years next if it is related to 
I mean, for, it is a, for the purpose of funding a depreciable asset, then yes, then it can be reduced from the cost of the fixed asset or it can be transferred to DGG and from DGG it should be transferred to, I mean, PNL over the life of the asset in the ratio of the depreciation, yeah, which is related to income, which we have discussed. And the last topic is refund of government grant. Refund of government grant is very simple. It is a reversal accounting. Because initially, if it has been transferred to created to PNL, then you debit it to PNL now. Initially, if it has been transferred to DGG and from there it has been transferred to PNL, then debit DGG now to the extent it is available in the balance sheet. Debit DGG to the extent available in the balance sheet. Right? Balancing number should be created, debited to PNL and to cash whatever the amount you are actually refunding. If it was deducted from the fixed asset, yeah, what are we supposed to do? You have to debit to the fixed asset now, fixed asset account debit to cash. Not only that, you have to calculate retrospectively the depreciation as if the government grant had not been received by the company from the day one to till date and charge this additional depreciation immediately. Right? If it is a cash flow presentation, yeah, you received a yeah, government grant is a funding activity. So it is supposed to be always financing activity. That is one. Next, you are not supposed to present it in the debt basis. Okay. If it, it is in case of first adoption, it is a mandatory exemption. Mandatory exemption. If, I mean, uh, generally you should, even though you, even though you received the government grant in the past. Okay. Suppose if your company has recorded as a capital reserve. Now transfer it to your profit and loss. I mean retained earnings co you transfer it. Right. Or if it is related to loans, government loan. Yeah. If I mean generally we should assume it. Assume it. I mean uh, uh, date of transition. Date of transition is say 1 for 2020. 31st March 2020. What is the number? Same number should be taken for the date of transition. And assume that today only loan has been received from the government. And the loan is for the remaining period. Now you are supposed to account it normally. That's it my dear. If you like the video, please share this with your friends. Let that be useful to as many students as possible. Thank you and wish you the very best.